What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, it's going to be one that you guys have requested through my Snapchat, and I've, I've always said on my vid all all of my videos. If you have a video request, you can always leave it on the comment section, but you can also reach me through my Snapchat. Like that is where you will talk to me. That's where you will ask me questions. That's where you will request videos for me. That is where we can be friends through Snapchat. <laughs> So this video was requested by you guys and it's uh, updated what's in my purse. A lot has changed since that video, like what I keep in my purse. Like throughout the years of, um, I don't know, I guess you grow up and you become more organized, I would say. So I kind of tend to be very organized when it comes to my purse. Sometimes you can just throw things in there and you're just like, oh my God. You literally just can throw your whole life in there. But because I'm mostly all the time with my kids, I try not to put a lot of things in it because it's heavy. So I have to carry my heavy ass purse plus also carry my kids book bags. And they tend to bring a lot of toys to the road and they just throw it all in my purse. So right now I'm going to show you two purses which are like my main purses. Well, one of them I just got, which my Snapchat fam helped me pick it out. The other one, but the other one is the one that I carry most of the time. But it's two different sizes and I want to show you guys what how I go from a big purse with everything to downsizing to a small purse to taking mostly what you need so let's first start off with the one that I normally use on my like, everyday basis and it's this bag right here this is an Aldo bag most of my bags are either from TJ Maxx like Steve Madden like I really love Steve Madden Betsy Johnson and Aldo like those are like my top bags like my top those are like my top brand names when it comes to bags because I really like I really like them. They're really sturdy. This bag has been with me for about two years. So this has been my go-to bag. This bag goes with me everywhere. I travel with this bag. I love this bag. It's just sort of like a Celine look-alike sort of thing as you can see. Yeah, Celine looks just like this. I can't afford a Celine. What the hell? I have bills and, and, and kids to feed. Jeez. So... <clears throat> This is what it looks like on the inside. I like to keep it, like I said, I like to keep my purse very organized because I freak out when I see a mess and I'm just like, the bigger the purse, the more you throw in it. And when it comes to finding something, you're just there for like days trying to find out what the hell is inside your purse. So I'm just gonna go through it really quickly. I don't have a lot of things in my purse, honestly. So let's first start off with my wallet slash agenda. This is the, um, uh, Kate Spade Walsley Planner, which I love this planner. This is where I plan my whole entire month, my week, and everything. And I like to use it for my wallet as well. Oh, my card is just being a... As you can see, on this side, it has to keep your cards. And then in here, it has sort of like a envelope. Not an envelope, like a little, like a little pouch. And this is my card to get into like the pool here in my in my complex. Um, so it has a little pouch and I, if I have any cash, I put it in there. And then of course, I just pretty much keep it with me everywhere I go to be able to know what I'm, what I have to do that week, what I have to do that day, if I have any, uh, if I have any doctor's appointment with the kids, because I forget like doctor's appointments, they call me the same day like, hey, are you coming? And I'm like, where? To your doctor's appointment. I'm like, oh! I'm on my way, you know, I, I need to keep this because my mind is off, like honestly. So, and then what I like to keep in on the other side, that's, um, that's a lot. I keep here everything, honestly, is this little uh, notebooks. Like this notebook right here is things that I have to buy for like my room, my bedroom, my living room, like things that I want to decor my house. I keep it in this little um, notebook so I know because sometimes I go to Target and I just want to take everything. But then when I get home, I'm like, wait, I didn't buy what I needed. So I like to keep it in a little notebook, uh, what I really need. Like, I divide it by living room. The living room, I got to buy this, I got to buy this. But mostly decor stuff. And my room, I have to buy lightings and whatever. So I like to go into here and be like, okay, so I already bought this. I need this. So I keep this in, this is the little small um, notebook. And then this notebook right here. Uh, there's a lot of paper. This notebook right here, it's my budget notebook. So I do a budget every every month. I sit with my budget and my husband and we go through what we have to pay that month, um, what the money that comes in and how we're going to split it, how we're gonna be like, we're gonna pay this here, we're gonna pay this here, we're gonna pay this here. Um, if we have money left out, we can go do this, we can do that, do that. So I like to keep a notebook on that so I can like 
keep track of my spending also but like I spend this in here or I only can do spend like $50 on makeup this month because we're trying to save for vacation or whatever I like to keep a notebook that will help me with my spending um and then on this side here the little sloop I don't know, I keep naming things, you know, the names come to my head, I'll just name them. I'll probably call this something else, but whatever, let's just go with it. I just keep here the little um, stickers to decorate the, the notebook. And then, of course, receipts, if they're very important, I keep them in here. And when I get home, I put them in my, um, like, on my archive, is that what I call I don't try to close it because honestly it's so bulky that I just leave it open but this is most this is what I call my life like my cards are in here my budget is in here things that I have to do this is just I call it my life unfortunately when I switched on to the little no the little purse I don't take this with me but I'll just let you know how I switch it around <clears throat> this purse is pretty pretty simple it's just a big open space inside so it doesn't have a lot of different compartments or whatever so the next thing is of course my makeup bag I'm using a, a cosmetics makeup bag I am a makeup bag freak I love buying different makeup bags but sometimes I either buy them too big or either buy them too small or I just get them really dirty because of the type of material that I bought them but this one I find that that is perfect it, it helps me keep all my makeup in place of what I'm wearing I normally change my makeup bag depending on what I'm wearing that day and I throw in that foundation I throw in that blush I throw in that bronzer the highlight and so it all depends there's people who have like their emergency makeup bag but I really don't this is just pretty much what I have in here um what's in here my brushes my mascara brushes um my powder foundation my highlight which is the Becca highlight which I'm loving right now my bronzer which is my holy girl which is the benefit um, the Laura Mercier uh, Secret Brightening Powder, my banana powder, setting powder for my under eyes, a blush, if I'm using that blush that day, it's just pretty much to retouch my makeup during the day, my concealer, and of course my eyeliner. And I do, if I'm wearing lashes, I throw in the little lash cases and an extra in the glue just in case they want to come off or I really want to take them off, I put them in there, and, but I don't have that in here. So that's pretty much what's in my makeup bag. The next two is our uh, other two little bags. Like I said, I like to keep things in bags because you throw them in these big purses and they just get, everything is lost in there and it's not cool. So this little bag is from the Mar Dermalogical. I got this when I went into the Ipsy event and I got it with like a whole bunch of little ones. So I tend to use all these little bags for things. This is like my emergency bag. So what's in here? It's a brush can't use it now because my hair is all nutted up <laughs> but I keep a little brush in there I keep a uh, I keep a little clip as well I keep a lotion this is my holy girl lotion this is the soap and glory hand food oh my god like no joke <sighs> little tidies for my hair I haven't used this ones yet but I like to keep it just in case you never know I haven't used it because my hair is short how what am I gonna what, what am I gonna tie like come on but I like to keep it you never know who you need to give a tie a, high, a hair tie to um, of course, you need some chicle, some gum. Um, I have nails uh, that are put on. Sometimes they come off, they broke or break or whatever. I like to keep a little nail glue just in case. Uh, a little hair clip. So this is my Bellamy hair clip. You know, sometimes I'm driving and I have a lip gloss on and my windows are down and I don't want to get like my hair on my lips, so I just. Put the little clip up to the side and just tell my hair to get out of my way uh, okay so in here i keep the lipsticks that i'm using that day like i don't keep the lipsticks on there i don't know why i'm just so weird the lipsticks that i'm using that day i like to keep them separate i'm gonna be honest these are pretty much the ones you will see always with me these are this is the nyx um lingerie 07 this is the one i'm wearing right now which is the kylie rain metallic lipstick and then the london the london <laughs> <laughs> the London um, Soft Matte Lip Cream by NYX. These are like my holy grail, of course, except this one because I just got it. But these two are like, whoa. So I keep that in there. <clears throat> I like to keep my headphones in there. And 
I like to keep also the nail polish that I'm using at the moment. You never know. Your nails can chip off. Your nails, something can happen to your nails. Or you paint them in a rush and you couldn't see. And when you get outdoors, you see the sun and you see a mess on your nails. So I like to keep it with me. You never know when you're going to need it. So I like to keep that with me. Right now, I'm using the Milani Color Statement. It's the one I have on my nails. And this is the color Pink Beige. And I always top off any color that my girl that does my nails puts on me with the Sally Hansen Big Matte Top Coat. It mattifies my nails and I love that. Okay, then I have another <laughs> I have another little bag. This came in my Beautycon box box. Are all friends? This came in my Beautycon um, box. I think this was the... I don't remember. Anyways, it came in my, my Beautycon box and I just thought it was a perfect size to put all my pencils and pens. So I keep all my pencils, pen, pens, highlighters, sharpies, I keep everything in here. Um, this is supposed to be my keychain but I like to put it in here because my kids sometimes like to play with my keychains. I highly recommend these things for any girl out there. This is a pepper spray. Yes it is. I keep mice, I keep a pepper spray and it's pink. I recommend any lady to keep a pepper spray with her on her keychain because there are some mean crazy predators dudes out there and you know you never know honestly sometimes we think all oh, that will never happen to me but guess what we never know so i love to I, I have to keep a pepper spray with me the only reason why i keep it in here like i said is because my kids like to play with my keys and i'll show you why my kids like to play with my kids my my kids like to play with my key, keys so that's pretty much it and of course if you're a mother and you don't go through your purse and in the bottom of your purse you don't find crayons and like toys like you're not doing a good job <laughs> I'm just kidding but every purse of mine at the bottom you will always find some toys so I mean I just leave them there for like emergencies you never know and um, I keep my glasses as well on my purse I'm kidding. These are my son's glasses. See what I mean? Like, they just find a way to throw things in my purse. Okay, so now let's move on to the little one that I've recently been using and loving. And this is perfect now for summer. Look at how beautiful. It's like that beige pink or like that old antique pink. So this is a Steve Madden one. And I got this one at TJ Maxx. And I'm so glad I did. It's just a side, it's a side um, purse. You can of course carry it with this like this, whatever makes you comfortable. I just like to throw them on like this because, I mean, you have your phone in your hand and whatever. So, I mean, and it's so lightweight. <clears throat> so, oh, I forgot to tell you what I also keep, because this was on here. I also keep wet ones. When you have kids, you never know when you're going to need them. I love to keep my wet ones with me as well. And this is because it's on the other purse. That's why that's the problem you get. And of course, you, I like to keep with me um, the Shout Wipes on the Go. You have kids again, you never know when you're going to get food spilled on you or on your shirt or they're going to get food spit on their shirts, whatever. It's always good to keep these wipes with you so you can clean off so you don't have to walk into a place with baby food stain on your shirt. <laughs> but if you don't have kids, then you don't have to worry about it unless you're clumsy like me also. So, Okay, so this is a small purse. I'm going to show you how I transition from the big purse to the small purse. This is my keys. This is why I say that my kids like to play with my keys because of the very little ball of thingy so these are my kids okay so how do I transition from that big purse to here is easy I don't take as much crap <laughs> just kidding okay I cannot take this big old thing because it's heavy and it doesn't fit so I just take out my license and my debit cards and credit cards that I want to take with me <clears throat> I take my little notebooks because of course you never know if I'm going to stop shop I'm gonna stop somewhere and shop so you know what I mean so I take the little notebooks with me, put the little notebooks in there, my glasses, my cards and my IDs. I normally will keep a little uh, small pouch with me, but I really misplaced it because it's that small. So the, the purses always have like little, um, you see as you can see this back here, always has little compartments. So what I like to do is I like to put my cards and my license in there and close the zipper up. Put my wet ones and my to-go um, shout wipes in there. And this baby comes with me. This baby comes with me. Like I said, this is my emergency kit. So my that baby comes with me. And 
when it comes to makeup, I don't take anything, just the lipsticks because I know that I'm just gonna run some errands around the around my house. I'm not gonna be a, I'm not gonna be out for so long, so I don't take any makeup with me. I just take the lipsticks and whatever, and that's pretty much what I keep inside this little purse. But that is it. I mean, it's not like such a like you're not gonna find like. I don't know. You, I don't know what people expect to find on other people's purses. But one thing I tell you is, if you keep everything in little small pouches, like little makeup bags, and it's gonna make it a lot easier for you to find things besides throwing them. Because we're all girls, we are women, we love to throw so many things inside your purse. There's times when it gets really messy and you just can't find your lip gloss or whatever. One thing that has helped me with my keys, is the fact that it has this furry ball. So whichever purse I throw it in, I just throw my, my hand and I feel the ball, I know that I have the purse. The keys, so this is a pretty good trick when you have like big purses. Keys tend to get lost, and especially if your car is keyless, then you don't need to be using it all the time. Um. So yeah, let me see what else. Yeah, so those are my tips and pointers, tricks to keep your purse organized. Make sure you keep everything divided in different little pouches, different um, makeup bags. And believe me, your life will definitely look a lot, make your life will be a lot easier when you're looking for things in your purse. So I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for sticking till the end. Mwah, besotes, be blessed, precious pearls. I will see you ladies on my next video. Bye.